Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you're doing good, hope you're doing well. So, that's the end of Algeria's season, uh, the 2022-23 season. We were hoping there was going to be a World Cup in the middle of it, but suddenly it was meant to be eight games, five wins, two draws and that one loss against Sweden. So, now it's time to build ahead for the new season, which not only includes the Africa Cup of Nations, but also World Cup qualifiers as well. So plenty of matches to look forward to. We're six months away from building the starting 11 for the Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast in January. But big, big news, particularly coming out the French media with the newspaper Le Keep, the famous uh, sports media outlet from France, that Amin Gouri and Yasser Larousi are going to play their final tournament with the France under-21s before switching internationally to Algeria. This is massive. This is something I've, again, just like Awara those years, I spoke about Guri and how adamant, just how important that striker position is. And it was highlighted in the last two games particularly. Up front, Mahios didn't really offer anything. Um, Slimani, it's 35 years old now, it's past his time. I think Bunaja in and around that squad can still offer something. We have so much of the ball. How many times was it Isa Mandy, two guy, Mandy, two guy, Mandy, Zugba, Mandy, and da 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 throw in. Do you know what I mean? No one to actually go and put the ball in the back of the net. Amin Guri changes that. 24 years of age, not even in his prime yet, and someone that knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. Came through Leon. You saw what he's done for Nice. You've seen what he's done for Ren. This is huge. This is the biggest switch since the likes of Faguli, Brahimi, uh, Fauzi, Gulam 10 years ago. This is absolutely monumental. Don't underestimate if we can pull this off. Amin Guri, whether he's playing off the left or up front for the Algerian national team, it changes everything. If you think Algeria are going to get quarterfinals, semi-finals, this propels us to maybe final or maybe even favourites. This is huge. We have been crying out for a centre forward. Andy Delors, we thought, could do that role. Ultimately, his fitness in the last 6 to 12 months has let him down a little bit and also problems with um, his club and, and getting loaned up to Nantes. And now I'm sure he's going to change club again. Maybe even go to Turkey or the Middle East. This is fantastic news. Now, obviously, he's currently at this under-21 Euros thingy with France, which is a bit weird, considering we're now celebrating the guy playing for Algeria in September. But it's going to be his last tournament. He's 24 now. He's always kept playing these youth tournaments with the French, you know, hoping to break into that France team. He's 24, and he's playing with the under-21s. And that, for me, spells a big message. He's not going to play, even with Benzema out of the picture, never going to play over Mbappe. Giroud's getting called over him. Bloody Kolo Moani, all these lot, Taram. Guri's not in the picture, but it's no coincidence, no coincidence, just like when Alwa just happened to keep getting COVID, that Guri is not in this French main national team. So I want him to bag lots of goals and then bag lots of goals for us because this is final tournament with the French under 21s. And then it's looking like, according to L'Equipe, that he will be joining up with Algeria, which is huge. What's the front three going to look like? Well, I think Guri has to be a starter up top. Mahrez on the right, Ben Rahma or Amora on the left. We're starting to see now what the team's going to look, look like. Very, very exciting indeed. I just can't wait to finally have a goal scorer. You look at how many dribbling uh, players we have, even Shaibi, and finally someone to finish off the chances that's going to stay in the box, that's got a bit of pace, that's going to put the ball in the back of the net. And You know, like I said in the video, we had to get him. We had to get Gori. If we didn't get Gori... It would either have to be a Mora up front or we would have been in the absolute mud. So this is fantastic. It will scare the other nations in Africa as well. Get Guri in a couple of games in September, a couple of friendlies, and then get him involved in them World Cup qualifiers to get him ready with the team for AFCON. So looking up, we're going to get him. Yasser Larousi in that same report was also said to be going to be playing for Algeria from September. I do think it was a bit weird considering the fact that he was born in Algeria. I think he was born in Alouette. And um, obviously he was at Liverpool. Gerard took him to Liverpool. And uh, now he's in, in Ligue 1. Uh, I don't know why he's playing for the French youth in the first place. But Larousse as well. Is he going to be the backup left back? We know Eight Nori is going to start left back. We know Ben Sabani is going to be a centre half. But there's a spot available at that backup left back position. Has Hadjan done enough 
to knock LaRussi out the picture. It's up to you guys. Would you have Hajim or LaRussi making it on the plane as the backup left back? So, new players involved. Not heard too much about Ryan Cherky. We know Belamardi said after the Tunisia game, there will be new faces in September. Is this who he was alluding to? Amin Guri and Yasser LaRussi. They could be the final two pieces of the puzzle to get us over the line and get us a third star. But are some people unhappy that Guri is involved? And are some people unhappy with his comments before, saying it was his dream to play for France? Do you forgive him for that? Awa certainly was forgiven for that, so why can't you do the same for Guri? So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below with Amin Guri, hopefully coming in September, inshallah. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like. I'll see you next time.